many years with uh, Gdansk, with the university. And uh, he's late now with uh, Professor Lev Giorno. And he organized a lot of conference uh, with the university and with the military academy of Vienna. And today I would like to present the uh, medal of my husband, uh, which is I would like to, to give to, the, to you as a sign for friendship, as a sign for the memory, as a sign for the cooperation. symbol of the uh, shell, it's a symbol of the infinity, and a small diamond here, real diamond, which is uh, was artificial, okay. the General Physics Institute in Moscow, this diamond, it's a special uh, professor, uh, uh, Prokhorov, uh, I'm a physicist, I'm a professor in physics, and this was special made for just due to uh, acknowledge the people who is really do a lot of things to make our world better. Thank you very much. Uh, so <laughs> And uh, thank you, Christoph, for your presentation. And uh, I know that you've been sitting now for two hours, and you want to stand up. Maybe they don't believe in our <laughs> project, but hopefully they do. Uh, we started, we first tried to make some sort of a union about ideas, how what connects us. And so there are people from all over the Baltic Sea area, so it, we thought it was natural to connect us with Baltic Sea. And we thought about, we discussed about the sea environment and the fishing possibilities and and we we, we quite quite soon uh, realized that we want to make uh, make some sort of a positive news because of instead of all these negativities which are uh, sort of a flooding towards the towards us from the news so that we try to find something positive and so we, we find out that uh, Baltic Sea, we all know that we have all sorts of environmental problems in Baltic Sea. So it's about agriculture, that all waste management and the fishing, uh, fish species are sort of evaporating and disappearing. So that's a real problem and we are all sharing it. So probably, well, you are all sharing it. So it unites us. And, and so our sort of a aim was, the goal was to clear, clean up the Baltic Sea together. And that, that's the sort of a leading point here. And, and our target group is, first of all, children, because we, we feel that we can in, uh, influence people through children and, and their parents. So that's the majority of the population easily. So, and, and we, are, we are probably, we were planning to use uh, social media in this case and especially YouTube and using these youth uh, media characters and personalities so famous people rappers and and writers who so are blog blogging how old are children they are watching the rappers uh, we've never actually discussed that <laughs> children rappers are in use already children, uh, under different. 16 I would imagine teenagers yeah, yeah. And uh, people are following these YouTube bloggers and so forth. So we would uh, uh, associate them with this course because it's their life we are affected mainly. But of course, uh, their parents are involved in this as well. So, uh, so and we, our sort of product would be an event. Basically, we thought about you're probably all, all aware of this Earth Hour. So we mainly sort of stole the idea and it's about Baltic Sea Salmon Hour or something like that. We need to work on that probably. But it would be uh, in most of our, at least in Finland and Denmark, we have these uh, events in the spring when children are going to clean uh, beaches. So, so that would be it. First of all, we gather together, so a school trip and also the parents are involved there as well. At least in Finland, uh, schools and cit uh, cities and uh, governments are actually funding these trips, so it doesn't cost anything. So we would get the work done, then there would be probably one of these uh, media personalities that could be performing on the beaches, maybe singing something or doing something. And then there would be a sort of a joint meal together 
-hmm. And uh, that would be obviously something product from this Baltic Sea. And, and, and. So, what else do we have here? Uh, so, so, so there, then, then we would need some sort of a, uh, alliances and we, we would uh, somehow get the businesses involved in this because businesses do understand if they are sort of aware like, uh, about the importance of uh, sort of a public appearances. So, uh, uh, operating with children, I'm <coughs> actually myself coaching football and I do know that uh, businesses like to get involved with football because it's the huge sports and effects a lot, of, a lot of people. So I, I think this is rather similar. So there's a good person, uh, sort of a publicity through that. And, and so we have actually an example in Turku where I come from. We have the Stefan Lindfors. He has made a statue where uh, it's about, it's a fish and it's a mixture of fish and, uh, and a bird. And uh, businesses can buy sort of plugs of, and they pay for that. So we could perhaps have some sort of a brand. And actually we have a, already a prototype of our test and it's here. Yeah, just yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. No, I take it yeah. to be from yeah. you still that I make the prototype because it's uh, uh, now it's election uh, in Denmark and the issue of election is eco ecology. It's number one. Yeah. And ecology it's a sea and a sea it's a boat. <laughs> and uh, one of the issue that it's uh, no black shells more in Denmark, black class disappear, only white. And that is why I was in the beach, and it could be the product of there. And I would like everybody who is here just close their eyes and pick up the shell for the memory. And it's a shell which is uh, I paint, and then they think about the environment, how you can be involved in this project and how you will will be part of the clean Baltic. Please. Yes, and with this, so we are obviously, this is, we are all sort of sharing this problem and we have interest in solving this problem. So obviously we would like to use our own networks and there are all sorts of official organizations from uh, national governments to help help this help com which is an environmental organization called bssc uh, then we have what else do we have actually in my hometown there's a union of baltic sea cities they have an environmental agency in turku and it it includes something like more than 100 cities around the baltic sea that could be an easy way actually the uh, executive director lives about one kilometer away from me so well, if you if you <laughs> agree, so we can put this pro project already through. <laughs> and, and also, European Union supports project like this. Easy. So, that, so that's <laughs> easy. Oh, okay. no so that's and if children also pick up the shells in the beach yeah. and paint them and give to the next, so it will be the best advertisement about them. What is the project? So, and it's a small souvenirs, yeah, you can carry this very easy in your table. And you remember this. So, clean Baltic for everybody, for our children, for our future, and uh, for us who will be a little bit older. <laughs> it's a clear problem shared by practically everybody around the Baltic Sea. And uh, it's about image, clean beaches, mm -hmm. clean up, sort of safe product, uh, seafood products, yeah. it's mm -hmm. all in favor. I mean, nobody can mm -hmm. actually say it's anything against us. Mm -hmm. I thought all the, all the plastic. Are they interested in teaching children in private school and kindergartens to go yeah. down to yeah, the That would be the educational and part, some... and it's also this cleaning issue yeah. there yes. as well. Yes. It's, mm. it's another part, it's another project in fact, but yeah. it's of course it's involved the uh, yeah. ecology. Well, I will now go with the classic of the meeting. It's not, not really a question, but sort of a comment. <laughs> yeah. uh, so, children is good and they are they are then cleaning at the sea, but some, somehow it, it not, not really solves the problem of, of sea itself, because as you mentioned, the agricultural 
from this. And yeah. this manufacture, man, manufacturing is actually the, the cause of the thing. And the, and the Baltic region, I would say that shores at the sea are not not uh, not the real problem itself, as 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 the sea itself. But otherwise, I, I, I see this project as, as very good. But it's more speaking about the shores and and. and Places at the sea. You have to start so somewhere. You need to start yeah, something. Yeah, sure. And I think if it will be success, because if you have success in the first step, so it's easier later, for example, go to the business and claim, okay, we yeah, can, yeah, can you give yeah. us the money? So uh, because we discussed that, for example, the uh, university now have no money for the research, and we have five hundred thousand bombs from World War II, which is close to Normandy, oh. and it's under the uh, under the seabed, yeah. mm -hmm. which is last year, it was the several cases in Denmark, we know this, that it's uh, it was because of big storm, uh, several bombs mm -hmm. was in the beach, and uh, our children is so good, they called to the police and told something strange, please come, and if they touch, so it would be. <laughs> okay, so. Thank you, two short questions or comments, yeah. because we can finish, yeah? yes. <laughs> I actually find it quite interesting because, as far as I understand, you want to use, you want to reach out to the children to create awareness that will bounce back mm -hmm. up mm -hmm. to us. It's uh, like uh, this uh, Greta Thunberg. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and I, I, I don't have any critical questions or, or comments about it because I know that it works. Uh, in Norway, we started this kind of work back in the early 90s, I think it was. We had uh, TV shows where about black wolf, that is a uh, squid that is cleaning up, you know, in the sea, and, 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 and we had some kind of detective club, environmentally detective club for kids, and it was very widespread. And the kids talk to us, adults, you know, I mean, I, you know, I mean, I'm a smoker, so I mean, my boy's been talking to me about cigarettes since he was small, so I've been cutting down, down, down on my smoking <laughs> because of that, because yeah. we we do get influenced by our children. Yeah. It's it also is, it's it's very strong one more thing. It's also bridging the gap between the generations. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, the my suggestion would be uh, sixteen and down is very relevant because it's mm -hmm. at the age after two years, like each year, the children yeah. are like, is it kindergarten? Is it preschool? It's. Uh, I think and it's then preschool yeah. and uh, yeah. from yeah. one yeah. to five, mm -hmm. fifth grade, something like this. Small children, which is together with the parents, go to this event. And then also the solution that what. Uh, you asked, it could be also partly like Susie's, how you will approach it, Susie's videos and YouTube cartoons or uh, educational programs. This is where you can tell also what should be done. And then also you can get more to society conscious, like, okay, here is <coughs> your main event, maybe it will be this uh, beach party, yeah. Yeah. but then for so small kids, you don't need beach party. Yeah. So you should consider it. Parties yeah. and parties. Yeah. 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 I think it's a cultural and national most, issue. You need something, maybe some illumination yeah. time to time, but this actually main work would be through these videos where you will reach them out and, uh, and get some. Oh, also art. Like use the art, which is the children can paint the shells, and that's yeah. what this yeah. idea. Yeah, exactly. <coughs> Thank you very much. Okay. No, I'm sorry. You know. okay. So we need somebody who will be the watching dog, and I will be the bridges between the nations and between the for, for my cultural cultural uh, programs here. Yeah? So I'm uh, participating in different NGA, which is building the bridges between the country because my approach that uh, peace is better than war. So, but somebody should be uh, sneaky and see what what's wrong, what's wrong, what's wrong here, what's wrong there. It's not mine for that. So, and uh, somebody need to be in the peace and say that it's no changes needed. We need to accept as it is also very important but somebody needed that no i'm not satisfied i still would like to fight so i would say everybody is needed so but it, it's a question it what is the proportional between different movement so and time uh, our timing to give, uh, gives the uh, indication what is now is needed is more watching or is more bridges so, and uh, if uh, I will receive no support for my pro uh, projects and you receive more support, it means that watching dogs is more important than reaching dogs. Or <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, he's not the case. Okay, he's here. He doesn't like my Denmark. Okay.
answer on the yeah. uh, I, I just wanted to sort of, yeah, it's yeah. a really great intervention. Yeah. There's common values. What is, what is the uh, glue which is leading us together to this, to this meeting, to this activity? So if we define, for example, for the next meeting, common values, so it will be easier maybe to persuade the business people to participate and to, to give us money <laughs> to, to develop this movement. Thank you very much. And uh, I think this was a question, if you remember, in the warm-up debate, remember? Because the